Hard to beat sunrise in Port Angeles. So glad you're with us here on this Friday, July 7th. One of the most popular summer activities in the Northwest started this week, crabbing season. So whether you're new to the area, maybe you've been around here forever, there are some things you need to know to go crabbing around here. King 5's Michelle Lee's live at Elliott Bay Marina to tell us more about this. Have you been crabbing yet? Hi, good morning. So yeah, we are going to show you how to go crabbing from start to finish. There are a lot of people who are always coming in. They're new to the area and they're people who've been here for a long time and they just might need some tips. So I thought this would be a really fun story because recently I just went out with some of my friends who moved here from Missouri uh, over the long holiday weekend. They were so kind to take me out on their sailboat. Uh, this is Shez Tucker who ended up picking up a few red rock crabs and turns out the Department of Fish and Wildlife officials say that the farther south you go of Seattle, you will likely see see red rocks, which is what we pulled up in Tacoma. Now, a lot of people have lived in Puget Sound in the in the area and have never had red rock crabs before. So we are hoping that we get Dungeness today. Yes. And I have Kate Anderson with us, who is our crabbing expert this morning. Hi, Thanks Michelle. for hanging out with us. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm so excited. Fun. So what do we need before we go? So before you go, you need your license from the Department of Fish and Wildlife. Um, you can get it at any you can get it at Fred Meyer or any um, tackle shop or John Sporting's Goods, that kind of store. Okay. Um, you need your crab pot, obviously. Okay. Um, you need bait. So we have both rock chicken in here and then we have salmon. You can use salmon heads, salmon guts um, from what you, whatever you catch. Um, you can use a combo of both. The pots we have out right now have just, just salmon in them. Just salmon. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer one or the other? Because I know some people do like turkey legs. Or... I do a combination of raw chicken and then salmon heads. I think that works the best. Okay. And mm -hmm. so then how long do you set your pots out? Um, you can set them overnight. So we put these pots out overnight last night. Okay. Um, we probably put them out about 5 p.m. But you can leave them for a couple hours. It just depends what your schedule's like. Can you do this off the dock too? Just um, like... Most marinas you don't. You can't and you don't want to. It's not deep enough. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Because I know in Edmonds, sometimes you can do it off the pier. Oh, um, mm -hmm. so, so that's an option yeah. for some people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are about ready to go out on the boat. Mm -hmm. How far are we going to go out? Um, we're going to go out to 50 feet of water to start, and then we'll go out to 150 feet and see what's there. Okay, I'm very excited. I've got my Dramamine just in case. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be good. It'll be good. <laughs> okay, so when we see you next time, we're going to get we're going to check out uh, the crab pots, mm -hmm. and then eventually at some point we're going to eat. I mean, I know that this is going to happen. So, thank you. Welcome. We're gonna we're gonna go out in just a little bit, and we'll check back in with you a little bit later. Back to you. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, guys.